Tornado sirens are one way for you and your family to know a potentially life threatening storm is headed your way. But the I team has uncovered some communities and in one case, even an entire county here in our viewing area do not have outdoor warning sirens saying they don't make fiscal sense. Here's what the I team uncovered as a part of our investigation into whether these communities are trading safety for savings. How do you find out about severe weather alerts over our cable? I uh, usually alert on my phone. Usually through my phone or the television's on. Uh, yeah, yeah, like the weather app. And are tornado sirens the primary way you find out about tornado warnings? Not too much, honestly. No, I think we have our TV on most of the time. Probably that would be my first way. The I team pulled people all over the Miami Valley. So I try to investigate what's going on because I'm not used to hearing it. But it's, you know, it's few and far between that I actually hear the siren. At night, when it goes off, we know that there's a tornado in the area. And we took some of our questions to emergency management officials. An Ohio EMA spokesperson told the I team all tornado siren decisions are left up to local governments in Ohio. Those local entities own and operate their sirens and said the state has no input or control over outdoor warning systems. The I team emailed emergency management agencies all over our viewing area and asked them how many active outdoor warning or tornado sirens do they have in their counties. Here's what we found. This map shows the number of tornado sirens in our local counties. Take a look at the top right of this map and you'll see Champaign County doesn't have any. Why has Champaign County made the decision not to have tornado sirens? So they made that decision about 11 years ago in 2011 is when they started the, the conversation on that. And the sirens were officially discontinued on January 1st of 2013. County EMA Director James Freeman told the I team the decision to silence Champaign County's siren system came down to cost. He said updating the 25 sirens they used to have for about $60,000 each would have cost one and a half million dollars. And Freeman said that quote did not include the cost of annual maintenance. In a perfect world, we would have them, I, I would imagine, and it'd be an additional layer, but you really have to weigh the cost and the benefit of that. Champaign County isn't the only pocket of the Miami Valley that does not have tornado sirens. These five cities are also on that list. Here in Greene County, that includes Bellbrook. To this point, why has the city felt it's not its responsibility to have them as a way to protect people? I, I'm not sure that it was a, uh, a feeling of not the city's responsibility, but it was a feeling of what other options and opportunities are there. City manager Rob Schomer told the I team Bellbrook is now considering installing sirens. Part of that process will be figuring out how to pay for them. And in Bellbrook's case, it is a project that City Council has recognized the community uh, wishes them to look into, and it is being brought forward as a project to determine uh, current costs and estimates and find ways to fund it and make it happen. So aside from tornado or outdoor warning sirens, how can you find out about a tornado warning? First, a NOAA weather radio, just like this one, is a great option. They're easy to find, and they'll cost you about $30, depending on which model you get. Plus, the National Weather Service and our Storm Center 7 team tell the I team there are plenty of other options that are free. Bellbrook and Champaign County each use local alert systems. Code Red, Hyperreach, and FEMA's iPaws are all examples. They're free to sign up for and send one call alerts to your landline, emergency emails, or calls and texts to your cell phone. There's weather apps like our free WHIO weather app that sends custom audible alerts for severe weather watches and warnings. Social media pages for your local news source like News Center 7 and the National Weather Service include important updates on tornado warnings. I'm Storm Center 7 Meteorologist Kirsty Zantini. We're and if warnings do pop up in the Miami Valley, our team of Storm Center 7 meteorologists will always break into programming on air. There's no system is infallible, so having a backup system and a backup for the backup is really critical to make sure those notifications get out. Tom Johnstone is the meteorologist in charge at the NWS office in Wilmington. When there's life-saving information, like a tornado warning, um, it's critical that folks have multiple ways to get that information. Bottom line, our Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydag says tornado sirens are a great tool, but they're only a part of the severe weather warning system. Vrydag says local alert technology has come a long way since the sirens were first invented. Should tornado sirens be the primary way you learn about a tornado warning? 
100% tornado sirens should not be your primary way that you get an alert if severe weather is about to strike or a tornado. They were designed if you were to be outside and be able to hear those tornado sirens. Most of us were not outside um, all the time when this type of weather is going to happen. There are so many other ways that you can get an alert when severe weather is about to strike a community. For the I-Team, I'm John Bedell, News Center 7.